All right. Here's another video to get you through COVID. Uh, at this point, I'm, I'm just, I dragged this out of my supply closet in the driveway and figured I'd share this one with anyone who's interested in making their own pressure brake bleeder. So this was originally a garden sprayer. <clears throat> in my case, it's a 7.6 liter or 2.2 gallon garden sprayer. You can get them at Home Depot. Honestly, this one is a bit of an overkill. It's when I, I can do two cars and really I, you know, you fill it up to here and you've got enough for two cars. And the fact that it's bigger means it just takes a little bit longer to pressurize the whole thing. The neat thing about this, if you have one of these around, is I use my compressor, but you don't need to because these garden sprayers have their own little, oops, don't need to do that. They have their own little um, compression apparatus. So you can pump this up, get it to the right PSI, and then bleed your brakes that way. But it's a lot easier if you've got access to a compressor. So what I've done, what you want to be looking out for is a garden sprayer, either of this size or smaller. It needs to have uh, a or, um, pressure release valve on this side. That's what was, what was there. And uh, I think this was for the sprayer here, um, or maybe the other way around, I can't remember. But either way, you need a guard sprayer with two orifices, and then you're gonna need to go to your local hardware store and get some adapters. I can't remember what sizes these were, but bring the garden sprayer with you. And I do remember wrapping a liberal amount of uh, Teflon tape to get the seal decent. So I got a female-female coupling, of two different sizes. I got a straight length of copper pipe, I got a T with one end um, attaching a, a pressure gauge to one end and a Schrader valve to the other. The Schrader valve is helpful to connect your compressor to it. So when you're bleeding brakes, the specs will usually call for anywhere between 15 and 25 PSI. So slam either uh, any kind of pump on here or you can use the handle, but bottom line is you need to monitor the pressure. I usually get it up to 25 because I know mine leaks ever so slowly so by the time I'm done it creeps down to 18 and I can still get the, the pressure bleed done. As far as hose, um, you probably want to go with transparent hose. I think this is 3 8 hose, I can't remember. Um, what I So I got a length of 3 8 I got a, what is this, a, a valve from a uh, um, water pipe for your sink with some compression fittings on both sides. I actually went from one size of hose to another just because I needed to fit this end into the compression orifice that I think originally um, held the sprayer. So that's a compression fitting. The plastic pipe needs to fit in there and I, I wrapped some electric tape around that just so that the fit would be better. You don't need to have it airtight, you just need to have it so that it'll retain enough pressure to do your bleed. Okay, so you may be wondering why I've got a compressor fitting at this end. So this is where, this is where the magic happens, if you will. Um, head to the junkyard, and for every vehicle you own, get yourself a sprayer brake cap, brake fluid cap. So I have two different variants on my cars. And you won't need, uh, originally I had some kind of idea that I needed to have a Schrader valve on here. I can't for the life of me remember why. So all you need is a, uh, a male compress compressor adapter and you do drill a hole through there. Um, the key is to drill a hole that allows for you to screw that adapter in and still retain some kind of pressure so play that one by ear and I then used some uh, material to seal around the sides although I didn't do that for this fitting so I guess this one be ended up being just fine airtight wise okay and so here's your cap from the wreck yard you're gonna need to drill this 
never mind this. And then the trick, the other trick here is the brake cap has a pressure relief mechanism built into it that you need to bypass. So you can figure out how it works simply by taking out the rubber gasket in the brake cap and figuring out how the air makes its way through and then just seal it up with, um, God, I wish I could remember what I used here. I think it was a Permatex product to seal that up. Some kind of anaerobic sealer or something. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You can use silicone in there uh, as long as you make a seal because yeah, those brake caps won't won't seal up properly unless you you um, <clears throat> you seal up the air vents in them. <clears throat> so this is for the P2 style Volvo. All of the S60s, V70s, and SAs use that. Then I've got my second one here. This is for my newer 2010 Volvo V70. Again, don't bother with this. You just need this drill through, or drill through, and then poke it through. Same thing. You'll see that I had to put some of that product in and around the um, the gasket to seal that properly, and you get an airtight seal. So then all you do is. <clears throat> the gas, put the, um, the brake fluid reservoir cap on in the car, slam this on like, whoop, nice, there goes some brake fluid in the driveway, slam this on like so, you got your pressure built up, and then you simply release this to open up the flow of brake fluid, and as long as you maintain the PSI in there, once you start popping open each, um, each release valve on each of the four calipers in your vehicle you'll be pushing nice fresh fluid through from this two gallon tank right through your pipes and through your calipers um, is this cost effective well I can't remember what I spent but you know these these little doodads add up it really was mostly cost effective for me because I had this tank sitting in my supply closet anyway so, like I said, find a smaller one, it'll be a lot cheaper. To buy this would be not so cost effective because you could get one of those motive bleed kits for, for the same price. The really nice thing about this, obviously, is you get some customization for every vehicle you own. You can either get one of these caps at the rec yard or just go to your dealership and order a, a brake cap for nine bucks. And then um, that's it. Uh, Obviously, there are different other ways you can do this, <laughs> including using your son to help press, depress the brake pedal. I, in many cases, I found myself stranded in the driveway with no one nearby, so having a kit like this at the ready allows you to do all four wheels by yourself pretty quickly. I uh, hope this is of help to someone out there. Any questions, feel free to comment.